Hello Bella Vista, I'm Mrs. Haskins, the principal. Welcome to a new school year and I look forward to saying hi to you in the halls. Hi, I'm Lori Casey and I am one of the counselors here at Bella Vista. I also oversee the conflict management program. Conflict management is a way to help solve some of the issues that you might have here on campus. At times you might feel unsafe or you may feel like you need intervention from another peer. And so we have the program that trains the students. Our conflict mediation team knows what to do when you come in to help you resolve some of those issues that you might not feel that you can resolve yourself. In order to use the conflict management program, what you would do is either stop by my office and say hello, let me know what your initial problem would be, and then we can get some conflict managers who have been trained to sit down with you and they have a method to go through the conflict and work with you to find a good resolution that might help you in your future with this individual or whatever the conflict is that you're facing. So I hope you can take advantage of the conflict management program. Another way to use it is to also go to Ms. Rooney and to speak with her and she will also get you set up with a conflict mediation team. I'm Julie Johnson, one of the counselors here at Bella Vista High School, and I'm going to review with you several things that are important for graduation and your future after high school. One of the first things we do, we typically do this sophomore year, is called a four-year plan. We work through what courses you're currently in, what courses you've taken, and what courses you need to complete for graduation. And our goal is to have you qualify for whatever school you're looking at entering as after high school is completed. As a student here at Bella Vista, we encourage you to look at one of the college admissions is SATs. We review with you how to sign up for SATs, go through the schedule, when the appointments are. It's all done through collegeboard.com. It's not done through Bella Vista. You go online and you enroll and get signed up. Before you take the SAT, the PSAT is given here and it's given to all sophomores and juniors and it's part of your school day and those results then come back to you to tell you and uh, show you how you are ready for school next level. ACT is the other form of admissions for college and again the same thing it's done a separately outside entity but it also on the form we show you when you sign up and when is a time to take the test. Uh, we have additional information on college. For example, this one is called, it's a quick review, again, going through the multitude of sources that are available for you to look at what you want to take after high school. Uh, it's, there's also another one called Fast Web. We do a lot of these activities for what's after high school through our Naviance curriculum, looking at what career choices you have and where you can go. In addition to Naviance, we also have a wonderful college and career center. We try to teach uh, classes and units where you get to go in there and look uh, to see what information is available, what schools are there. We also have uh, out on the counseling desk, we have the college visit sign up. It's a notebook where you sign up for colleges that are here visiting and you come and sign up. For example, if Sonoma State's here or UCLA, you sign up to see, uh, to visit with them and we send out passes so we coordinate college visits and how to connect with the different schools to just get information to see if you're interested or not. Hi, I'm Cindy Pimbera and I'm one of the counselors here at Bella Vista. And as a counselor, we want you to know that we're here to help you academically to make sure that you're on track for graduation, as well as if you have any mental health needs that or concerns that you might want to discuss with someone, you can always come see us. So sometimes those needs arise because people do things in cyberspace. If you're like me, you might use your phone just a smidge, right? So when you text or you send something on Snapchat or Instagram, that is out there in cyberspace for everybody to see. So keep in mind when you're sending that, it may be affecting somebody on the other side. And if you do that at school, then that's something we have to take care of because it's cyberbullying. But the other thing is down the line, it may affect you in your life because when you are going to apply for a job that you're really interested in, they have background checks now, and those background checks include what you've put out there into cyberspace. And although you might have hit delete, it could come back and haunt you five years later because they can actually get a hold of it even though you deleted it. So think before you text, think before you send anything, 
put anything out there into cyberspace because it could come back and get you. But once again, if you need anything, that's what we're here for as counselors is to help you. Hi Bella Vista, I'm Lori Hodge. I'm one of the counselors here. And today I wanted to talk to you about how you make appointments in the counseling center and what our passes mean. So there's a lot of reasons why you may come up to want to speak to your counselor. It could be problems at home with your um, problems with your friends. You could want a schedule change. You would, could want help with college and career readiness. And so um, you would actually come up to the counseling office and see our secretary and ask for your binder. All of us have a binder and you will open it up and you will have um, areas that you can choose from. So what you would do is you would find an open spot and find the date that you wanted to come in and put your name and your class period so we know what class that you're coming out of. And be sure that if you have a test that day or if it's a really important class, not to schedule it during that time, to schedule it in an open time. After you schedule an appointment, a pass will be sent to your classroom. The passes look like this. They're green for the counseling department. And if it has a time on here, if we've written in a time for you, please don't come until that time. Um, another thing is, is that if we need to see you as soon as possible, we'll put ASAP on top. So come during, um, come as soon as you can, if it says ASAP. Other than that, if you're taking a test in class and you needed to finish up and it doesn't have a time on here, or even if it does, then go ahead and finish up what's important in your class and then come after that. Okay. So thank you, Bella Vista. And I hope you guys have a great year. Hi, my name is Danielle Zazzini. I am the part-time counselor here at Bella Vista and I work with the AVID and EL students. Hello, I'm your Vice Principal, Mr. Irwin. As you may have noticed, Bella Vista is currently undergoing the construction of a new science and engineering building. This school year will have noise and dirt, but the final product will be fantastic. For your safety, never enter the construction area or go beyond the fences. And most importantly, please, whatever you do, thank you and have a great year. Hi, this is Mrs. Douglas, Vice Principal's Secretary, coming to you from our lovely gray lobby of the Vice Principal's Office. Basically, I'm here to tell you a little bit about what I do for you. One, if you are going to be working and you are under 18, you need a work permit. Come see me for work permit applications. I'll give you more details in person when you come by. The other thing that we help you with are guest passes for dances. If you're bringing a gal or a pal or a guy from another school, you fill out one of these. Um, come see me for details, but basically they're due the Wednesday before the dance. And I just want to take a brief moment to say I'm so glad I'm doing this videotape without any eye makeup. That's making me really happy. Welcome Bella Vista students. We're your vice principals. Um, I'm Mrs. Peterson. I uh, see students with the last names A through G. And I'm Mrs. Karjani's and I see students P through Z. This is Mr. Irwin and he sees students H through O. So we'd like to go over a few rules that we know students have trouble with at Bella Vista. Mrs. Peterson, can I use my cell phone in class? Well, Ms. Kate, it kind of depends on the teacher. The teacher has to give you permission to use the cell phone in class. But if the teacher gives you permission to use the cell phone in class for a classwork or whatnot, then yes, you may use your cell phone during class. If not, the teacher should let you know what their cell phone policy is in class and you need to follow it. But as you're walking around the hallways and at lunch and at break, feel free to use your cell phone as you need to. Uh, one thing that we do not want you using your cell phone uh, for is to text your mom or dad from a classroom saying you're sick to go home. If you need to do that, you need to go up to the attendance office and call from there because we have to verify that with your parent. Mrs. K, what do I need to do if a teacher assigns me an after school detention? Well, you would need to serve that and this year we're going to have detention in C2. It runs Monday through Wednesday from 3 to 4, about 3.05 to 4.05. Um, so you need to make sure that you serve that and that you bring your ID. Um, we do allow students to serve uh, one detention without an ID once per semester. So it's important you keep your ID with you. If you lose your ID, uh, please check in the vice principal's office. You can buy an additional ID for $5. So it's important to have that ID. Mrs. Peterson, uh, what happens if you get assigned to Saturday school but I miss it? Um, well. If you miss your Saturday school, then we will assign you additional Saturday schools. If you miss those Saturday schools, then you could have consequences like uh, on-site suspension for a day, 
Um, and if you don't want to do that, then we could you could end up being suspended from school. Mrs. K, what happens if I come to school or a school function under the influence of alcohol or drugs? That would be a very serious violation of our school rules. And a serious violation means you could be facing a consequence such as a five-day home suspension, social probation, which would mean that you could not participate in sports, or you could not come to any school functions like dances, no matter what time of the year that is. It's very serious for junior prom and senior ball. Um, any kind of you know controlled substance would be something like marijuana, it could be alcohol, it could be pills. And when we're talking about school, we're talking about during the day and say like football games or basketball games, any kind of school functions. Those are very, very serious consequences. If you were to sell or provide to other students, you could be looking at expulsion, which would mean you would not graduate from Bella Vista High School. So, you know, just be smart and don't bring any kind of controlled substances to school. If you do have medication that you need to take, that needs to be checked into the office. Um, stop by the, the principal secretary and she'll take care of you uh, with a note from your doctor. Mr. Irwin, would you like to talk about the dress code? I know what brand of undergarments you're wearing. I know too much about you. Okay, hi, my name is Ed Berrios, and we're going to go over the code policies that we have for closed campus, out of bounds areas, out of classroom, and tardies. On the other campus monitor, going over out of bounds areas. Stay in the interior part of the school, the parking lot, sidewalks, the back 40, which includes the fields and basketball courts. Being in a room without supervision, including the locker rooms, is considered out of bounds. Uh, out of class, uh, without a pass or hall pass abuse, the first offense is detention. Second offense is Saturday school. You must always have a pass to go to the restrooms and must have, you must carry your IDs on you. Tardies are counted per class and reset to zero at the semesters. Here's a pass from uh, my class. I'm, I'm sick and I uh, need to call home if I can. Okay, just use the phone on the wall. Dial a nine first. Thank you for doing that. My little Eddie just called me, well he just texted me on my phone and I just need to take him out of class right now because he has a headache and a hangnail and oh, he no. needs to go home. Okay, ordinarily when a child is sick they need to let their, their teacher know that they don't feel well and they come to us and we'll notify you. Oh wait, I can, I can, I can go get him right now because you know those hangnails, no, they're I, contagious. I'm, I'm sorry, we have a closed campus policy and we can't have you on campus, we can't have the parents on campus like that. But. Are you sure? But he, I'm really worried about him. So, so you're okay, going to call he, him? He needs to let his teacher know he doesn't feel well and come up here to the attendance office. So what do I do? This is a crisis. Okay. Ordinarily, he would need to come to us, but we'll, we'll go get him for you just this one time. But please let him know in the future he needs to come to us when he doesn't feel well. I guess I can let him do that. Okay. You seem capable. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I got a doctor's note for my mom. Um, I have a doctor's appointment. Okay. All right. Note from my mom. Hi, Miss Hendricks. This is a note from my mom. Um. You know what, Eddie? I think I I'm looking at your emergency card right here in the signature. Uh -huh. on your emergency card and the signature on the note don't match so I am gonna have to let Miss Peterson take a look at this note and she can contact your mom to verify that um, you really do need to be excused from school at 11 so she's not good with English 
Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to let Miss Peterson deal with that. You want me to take that back to my mom? Nope, nope. I think I'll hang on to it, and I'll just uh, write a referral and send you on over. <clears throat> really? Really, really. Okay. My teacher marked me absent, and uh, I fell on my grain slip, and uh, Great. there you go. All right, thank you. We'll get that taken care of for you. Thank you. Hi, Mrs. Barrios. Uh, hello. I just got a call from a recording telling me that my dear darling Eddie was not in class, and I know he was in class. I dropped him off at the curb this morning with his Starbucks, like every morning, and I know he was in class. Well, what he needs to do is come up to the attendance office. We can get him a green correction slip. It's his job to come up and do that. And he fills it out and has his teacher sign it, and he brings it back to me, and then I can make the correction in the computer. Well, but I dropped him off. I, I, I know he was in class. Okay, well, but we have no way of knowing if he went to class or not. So we need the teacher to verify that he was there, and we can make that correction. So he has to have this green slip filled out. Correct. He has to come get it all by himself? He does. Himself? Yep. He has to do that? He has he to does. come up here? He does. All by himself. <sighs> Thank you. Hello, Vista attendants. This is Becky. Oh, hi, Mrs. Ryan. Yes. Oh, okay. He was out all day yesterday? He was sick. Okay. All right. Thanks so much for calling. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Mr. Naka. How are you? Good. Hey, okay. I had an absence like three weeks ago, and I have to clear it so I can walk. Oh, you only have five days to clear an absence. Uh, but I really want to walk. Um, we've been telling you guys this all year long. As a senior, you, well, any student only has five days in which to clear an absence. I thought we had like some sort of grace period. No. Can five. I do like uh, a work project? No, I'm sorry. Five days to clear an absence. Can I talk to a principal? You can try. Go out. Go really? on ahead. They're going to tell you the same thing we are. I'm sorry. I'm tardy today. That's okay. Here. Let's fill out the top line. Give the paint copy to your teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. 